connected subtitle, Inspiring Authentic Worship Communities Online. So, do you have your so there's a statement that I take great offense to whenever I hear it, and that statement is, I didn't know Christians like you existed. And this statement offends me because progressive Christianity is a community of vibrant energy, and we are made up of passionate and compassionate activists for the world that we live in. And like Carla mentioned earlier, one of the infrastructures that links many of the projects we've heard about this weekend actually is the United Church of Canada, a church that, despite sometimes seemingly in invisible in the scope of global Christianity, is actually a significant cultivator of the very social enterprises this weekend encourages. But we know that if we want to impact the world around us, we need to actually reach the world around us. So there are people whose physical location or personal ability prevents them from attending a worship community on Sunday mornings, and in our experience, this leaves them with few options when it comes to faith and community formation. So there are home churches, senior centers, hospitals, and small town congregations that do not have the means to provide weekly Sunday morning worship experiences to those who are actually out there searching for it. But we do. We can, and we're going to. At Highlands United, we've already begun broadcasting worship into a local seniors' residence, as well as begun conversation with the home church in the interior who are curious about the benefits of this kind of partnership. These opportunities have emerged for us organically from within our network, and they're confirming for us the need for there to be progressive online worship that is more than just a viewing experience. This kind of community really does need to be a collaboration. So currently we live stream our Sunday morning worship, and in order to make this a more interactive and collaborative experience, we need to do more than just show people church, we need to actually invite them to participate in church from wherever they are, if that is what they want to do. So to do this, we need several things. We need to upgrade our technology, we need to hire staff and pursue training outside of the church, and we need the resources to reach out and develop relationships with those who might actually be interested in this kind of collaboration. And from this, we will be able to provide a resource to other organizations as to how authentic community can be created in real time using virtual media. So we know the technology for this is not new. The denominations that first supported televangelism got a head start on us about 50 years ago. But our, <laughs> our desire to develop a resource and a relationship with the people that that technology reaches is new. Uh, as Marshall McLuhan says, the medium is the message. So why wouldn't we choose to make it a medium of authentic relationships? of faithful social action, of spiritual engagement, and a vibrant ministry that shapes the problem solvers and change makers of tomorrow. There are over three billion people in the world with internet access, and each one of them is searching for something, and we'd really like to